What is going on YouTube? Modsville USA here, back with another video. I'm pretty stoked on this, dudes. We got our hands on a fresh new Vita Slim from Japan. Hot off the presses. Uh, pretty nice, pretty clean, pretty good. And we're going to take this opportunity to make a brand new PS Vita completely updated custom firmware playlist series similar to my Nintendo Switch series. I've also have one on the 360, a couple other consoles, but we're gonna just hammer out basically how to take a stock Vita, mod the hell out of it, and all the different homebrew and application get you get you in the know, get you figured out all the stuff you can do with one of these. All right, it's gonna be pretty neat. So welcome to the journey. If you're new here, leave a like, subscribe, all that crap. If you like the video and you, you want to see more and help support the channel, appreciate it. I want to stop babbling on. So this is for um, Vitas that are above 3.60. So this is on the latest firmware at the time of making this, which is 3.73. If you have one that's on 3.60, I'd recommend... Just going ahead and looking up a guide on how to install Enzo or skip an episode ahead. Because we're going to be installing Hencore for 373, uh, which is the latest firmware. And ultimately, we're going to be downgrading to 360, installing Enzo. Now, the difference here is Hencore. Um, it is just kind of a temporary mod that will need to be... Um, repatched every time we restart the vita like reboot it um which is fine and dandy but for the most part we want to downgrade it since that's an option to 3.60 as that has a permanent custom firmware option which you know for obvious reasons is significantly better um one thing i want to note before getting any further into this i have a slim stock slim uh, no memory card, just the bare console here, and that is all I need. If you have a 1.0, the fatter Vitas, you are going to need a memory card. You can't get around it. You have to get yourself uh, one of those stupid proprietary Sony official Vita memory cards it's just to hack it. Just That's the only reason you need it is to store the files uh, that we're going to be using to exploit the console. It's a little annoying, and it's the only time you're ever going to need to use it because we will end up installing an SD to Vita, which is a nice little cheap device. Uh, you put an SD card into it, it goes into the cartridge slot, and that's where you store everything from that point on. Um, but we'll get to that when we get there. But yeah, if you got a 1.0, you got to get your hands on a memory card. Sorry. Um, cool. So let's get on with it. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is go into settings. Where you at? Where you at? Cool. Settings here. And you're going to want to start this off by connecting an account so go to the playstation network sign in add your account make an account whatever you're going to need an account to do this and it's going to need to be logged in we want to be blocking access to psn later down the line but for the exploit to work you absolutely need to do that so get your account set up next you're going to need to set up your Wi-Fi connection if you haven't already. And once you do that, we're going to need to add a DNS server. So set up your Wi-Fi and come in here, go to your Wi-Fi, go to advanced settings, DNS, change it to manual, primary DNS. You're going to want it to be this exact string here. It's 212.47.222. Dot 76. Very nice. And next, we're going to go down to system. If you haven't checked your firmware, go ahead and do that. As you can see, mine is on the latest 3.73. Very nice. Look at this fingerprint. Gross. 
Okay. Yeah, the latest firmware is 100% fine. And yeah, also in system, we're going to go to Auto Start Settings. We're going to untick Download Update File for System Software. And that's good. Okay, once we're on our PC here, the first things we're going to want to do is hit Start and the I'm just going to type folder and we're going to want to go to file explorer options here under view middle tab we're going to want to tick show hidden files folders and drives and we're going to want to untick hide extensions for known file types once you get that done hit ok uh, next we have this link down below we're going to want to download final he so go to the releases tab which i will have linked and just grab the latest version here pop it's going to be a seven zip file i went ahead and made a vita folder on my desktop i'm going to go new here go final he it doesn't matter you can put this wherever you want it's just where i'm putting it so we got the zip folder here. I'm gonna drag this over. Very nice, very nice. Next up, we're gonna launch Final HE. When you first launch it, you're gonna get this Windows security alert here. Go ahead, allow access. Very nice. And now we need to go back to the Vita, launch content manager connected to the computer so let's do that so we got the uh, final um, final he loaded up on our computer now we're gonna need to go to content manager on our Vita so here we are content manager and we're gonna go to copy content we gonna select PC we're going to choose Wi-Fi. Here's my desktop. Go back over to our desktop. You will see we have a nice little pin number here to enter. So we're just going to enter that on our Vita. Now that we're connected on our Vita, we want to hit Let's Go. Now only hit Trim HN Core to under seven megabytes if you are on firmware 3.68 or lower. For me, I am on the latest, so that is not an option. So we're just going to hit Let's Go. I'm not going to do any trimming. And it is now downloading Bitter Smile PKG verifying, unpacking, let it do its thing. And I'll see you when it's done with that. All right, now here we are on the Vita again. Still have Content Manager open. I want to choose PS Vita, no, PC to PS Vita system. Open that up. Go Applications, PS Vita. And we got this HN Core 2.0 here. And this is a big boy. This is uh, 243 megabytes. It's like a quarter of a gig. I'm just going to get that. Hit copy. Hit OK. And now this is going to take some time. It probably would have been smarter to do this over USB. But uh, you know what? I got all the time in the world, man. Everything's on fire outside, quarantine's going on. Ah, eight minutes, whatever, no big deal. That ain't bad. All right, well, I will see you when it's done. All right, Wi-Fi was not that bad at all. This is completely installed here. So we're gonna go home here. Close this up. And as you can see, we got this Hencore uh, squared installed. Very nice, very cool. 
So at this point, we're going to want to go back to our computer and shut down Final Hand Core. Done with that. Go back to the Vita. Very nice. Now, if you are on 3.69 or higher like I am, there's a 25% success rate of this working when we try it out. Now, if you're below 3.69, then, uh, you know, might be a little, uh, a little better for you, but this is a 25% su success rate. If it crashes, we just got to reboot, close it out, try it again until we get it to successfully work. So let's give it a go here. Okay, open it. Hit start, hold R. Get this trophy app thing. I'm still holding R. I'm going to hit yes. Oh, shit. First try, baby. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so we're going to tick this. We installed Henkatu, very nice. Download Vita Shell, hit X. Download a Vita Shell. Very cool. Success. Nice. Personalize and save data. Failed. Boo. And we're just going to go ahead and reset Taihen config.txt. Success. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and exit. Fucking sweet. We got Vita Shell installed here. So for the time being, since we installed Henkatu, we're currently now running custom firmware until the Vita gets reset. If we, Vita were to get reset at this point, we would need to load up uh, H and Core squared again and install Henkatu um, and we're going to be solving that in the next video permanently by downgrading to 3.60 and installing Enzo um, we've got Vita shell and we reset our config just to play it on the safe side uh, the last thing we're going to want to do is go into settings here go start and we're going to Henkatu settings and we're going to enable unsafe homebrew. Very nice. Now we are officially living on the wild side. Well, now we've got a modded, uh, we've got a modded Vita. Got your Vita shell. This is homebrew. Any homebrew you install will stay on your Vita. And, um, it just won't be usable unless you res like once you reset until you uh, install Henkatu again with the Hencore Squared app. So leave a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe because on the next video we're going to be downgrading to three point sixty, installing Enzo. So we're just permanently hacked, unlocked, running custom firmware. We can reset it, all of that. We're going to be able to spoof our Vita to the latest version as well as download games for that require higher firmware um, and have the ability to play them without being on a higher firmware. We're going to be setting up an SD2 Vita. Uh, we're going to be setting up PKGI, which is a free shop for the PS Vita. We're going to be doing some retro work. We're going to be dabbling in homebrew. We're going to be setting up something that will allow us to capture our screen on our computer. There's all sorts of dope shit for the PS Vita. And we're going to be getting into it in this series here. So make sure to bookmark the playlist or whatever. Keep coming back. Or it might already all be finished by the time you're watching it. So just carry on with the playlist and enjoy a very underrated console. And a very amazing console once modded. 10 out of 10. Uh, would try again. IGN. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.